What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Quick Start. And I've been playing a lot of Watch Dogs 2 lately. It's a very fun game. There's so much to do and see. And there's also a lot of cool stuff you can buy. But I don't exactly have a lot of money in the game. I know it's true for some of you guys, too. A lot of stuff is expensive. But like I said, I've been playing a lot. So I was able to make this list for you guys of the most fastest and efficient ways to get money in Watch Dogs 2. So be sure to leave a like if this helps you. And yeah, let's do this. So first up at number five, we actually have an infinite money glitch that you can do. It basically allows you to make over $18,000 every 30 seconds. It's pretty cool and it's very simple to do as well. To do the glitch, all you have to do is start up a mission called Eye for an Eye. It's one of the earlier on missions in the story mode of Watch Dogs 2. When you're in the mission, you're just going to want to play through it like you would normally up until you get to a part where they have dog fighting. And then you want to look on your cameras. While you're looking around, you should see a guy named Pablo. And the thing about Pablo is, he's rich. So you can hack him for about $18,000. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. But only by a few hundred dollars. And then after you do that, you just go to the pause menu and reload the last checkpoint. And you can do that over and over and over and over as many times as you want. And get as rich as you want to be. I'm not even going to lie to you guys about that. That probably is the best way to make money in Watch Dogs 2 as of right now. Also the fastest. But the reason I said it is number 5 is it's subject to get patched later on. So do it while you can, I guess. But personally, I don't think that glitch will always be there. Next up in number 4 is pretty obvious. It's hacking bank accounts. This is just like the first game where you can take money directly out of people's bank accounts. But to be honest, this isn't exactly the best way to get money in this game. And it's often very slow, but there is a skill that you can unlock to highlight the people who have more money and hack them for even more. But it's no more than a thousand dollars each time. Like I said, it is kind of slow. But if you were to go somewhere like a tourist attraction and just walk around and hack people, you can stay there for about an hour in real life and end up walking away with a pretty large pile of cash. One thing I don't like about Watch Dogs 2 is what they made different from Watch Dogs 1. Basically, they drastically lowered the amount of money that you can hack from people. For instance, in the first game, you can hack somebody for about $15,000 or more. In this game, you get lucky to get 100 So, yeah, that sucks. But if you want to make money, trust me, there are better ways. For number three, we have pawn shops. Chances are, if you're trying to make money in Watch Dogs, you've stolen a few cars here and there. Well, there's good news about that. Because every time you steal a car, Marcus eludes it. And 9 times out of 10, there's going to be something valuable in there. Like money, bracelets, watches, necklaces, and stuff like that. Believe it or not, you can actually find phones, tablets, and laptops too. Don't know why you have that in your glove compartment, but you just do. Next time you get the chance, you can drive to a pawn shop and sell everything that you collected. I don't know about you guys, but I didn't even know about this. And I'm almost near the end of the game. So when I took it there for the first time, I got a lot of money. Because I've been stealing cars a lot. I only have like one car. And if this is the same case with you, you need to go sell that right now. I guarantee you, you'll be rich. And as for number two, we have Driver SF. Driver SF is an awesome way that you should go about getting money. If you don't know what this is, I don't even know how. Because it probably is the best and fastest way to get money. Just because you can do missions back to back to back over and over and over. And it's infinite amount and they're always awesome to play. It's a lot of fun doing them. So Driver SF is an app. It's basically Watch Dogs parody of Uber, but it is so much better. Basically, you bring up the app and then you see a list of people and the people want you to do something, but it all revolves around you driving them places. One lady had you do stunts. The other lady had you tell somebody. One guy had to get to his pregnant wife. They're a lot of fun. They're just different like that. And then I remember I did one, like the first one I ever did. I drove a guy down to the dockyard and he knew I was a part of Dead Set. So he got his gang members on me and tried to kill me. I had to kill them all. It was so awesome. This may seem boring, but you get paid. Basically, just like in real life's Uber, after you get done with the um, person you're picking up, they give you a star on level between one and five. And based on how high that is, that's how much you get paid. And the more stars you have is the more you'll be getting paid in the long run. This should be pretty easy to get more stars because for the most part, all you're going to be doing is driving without crashing so much. And that's about it. Some of them are special though. Like for instance, the one that you do with the stunt woman, 
basically you get your stars by how high of airtime you got. And if you didn't get that much airtime, you wouldn't get that many stars. So some of them are special, so just keep that in mind. So yeah, this is great because you can do them consistently back to back as much as you want. And they're also really fun. And finally, last but not least, number one, we have money bags. So basically Ubisoft is hidden. Some of them are more hidden than the others. Money bags all over the map, just there for the taking. Each money bag does has its own random amount of cash in it. But you can easily make a few hundred thousand dollars quickly, all while exploring the vast world of Watch Dogs 2. I have them at number one because you do make more money doing this than Driver SF, but they are still pretty challenging and fun to get. It's just a lot of fun to hack your environment so you can get up to it, use your drones, strategize about the whole thing, and in the end, it's always rewarding. And plus, you will notice just by looking at the map, you were surrounded by those things. So they're everywhere. You can get rich off of those so fast. It's amazing to have those in the game. Thank you, Ubisoft. Just so you guys know, I'd say about most of these, cash drops will be spawning inside of game control territories. So yeah, you're going to have to kill some people or sneak around them. However you want to play the game, it's all up to you. Just be careful though, because if you don't play your cards right, you can easily end up with 30 heavily armed gunmen just ready to kill you at any second. Well guys, there you have it. My top 5 ways to make money and watch dogs too. Be sure to leave a like if this helped you at all. And be sure to subscribe too because I upload Watch Dogs content every single day. Thank you for checking me out. My name is Quickstar24 and I'm out. Peace. You got to jump up high.